everyone, it's Demi from Rockstar Precess. Today is new ma. Today is Mermaid Moon Day because um, we missed the new moon because I was too busy and I needed a sleep. So that is what I did. Rule number one of mermaidism you have to look after yourself because mermaids don't really care that much if they inconvenience other people. <laughs> Something I'm sure a lot of us could learn from. Um, yeah, so welcome to New Moon Mermaid Moon Day. Um, today we're just having a little one because I am still in time off in February from holding a million events. And I wanted us to check in with some of the mermaid -y, um, the qualities of a mermaid today. So, um, hey Owen. So, one of the, um, what do I need to tell you about mermaids? So when we're connecting in with mermaid energy, we're connecting in with the wild feminine. And the truth of that wild feminine is authenticity. A mermaid is her truest, most authentic self. Completely. Hey, Arwen. Um, she is who she is, and she sings, and she says who she is without any shame or restraint. So a mermaid voice, you always see the mermaid singing. They are singing the song of who they are. They are singing the song of full desire, as my teacher Katinka Soten says it. Um, they are singing their truth. So this is very much about, um, very much a teaching and a wisdom about being able to express your truth, being able to communicate your truth and being able to communicate your desires and what you want. As a mermaid, mermaids don't hide. They're a bit showy. They have big flashy tails and they like to sing and they like to get their own way and they like things as they like it. So they are not, um, they aren't hiding. They're always on the rocks and they're singing. They are singing, they are being beautiful, they're singing their vision into reality, they are singing their truth into reality and that truth is very, very beautiful. It's the thing that um, tempts all these sailors to fall off their ships, to dive into the sea, to swim towards these mermaids because the truth and the expression of your authentic self is beautiful and it is magnetic and that is what draws people and situations and lovely things towards you that is what enchants people your truth and your ability to speak that and share it with the world so often we have um um by often, I mean, for sure me, um, have issues with our throat chakra and this ability to speak out and say and speak what we desire and express ourselves. And um, one of the mermaids things is they're singers, so they sing all the time and they're always expressing themselves through their voice. And the voice is one of the most um, direct forms of communication with other people. So today in our little mermaid ritual, we're only going to be here for 10 minutes or so because I need some rest and you guys all have stuff to do. Um, we are going to really root into our throat chakra today and I'm going to be giving you a mermaid assignment today for you to do. Okay, so we are going to, I'm going to sit down a little bit, mm -mm -mm. nice and sitting, I'm going to put this down. Do you like my necklace? I do. We're going to close our eyes. <sighs> We're going to breathe out. We're going to breathe in. Oh, we do it, yawn. Ooh, that was an epic yawn. <sighs> We're going to breathe in and we're going to relax. <sighs> We're going to put our hand on our heart and one hand on our womb space and we're going to keep breathing. Bringing our attention to our heart, 
Imagining a tiny line going down, a thread going down from our heart, down through the bottom of our root chakra and into the ground beneath us and fanning out like a tree, rooting us into the ground, grabbing onto that soil and holding us firm. We bring up that soil energy, the texture and the feel and the smell of that soil into our bodies. And then our heart chakra again, we imagine a silver thread going up, 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 out of our head, out of the building we're in, into the sky where it forms a great big tree or a net. Let's go for a tree today, it forms a great big tree. And the wide branches catch the wind like a net and the leaves soak up the radiant white gold sunlight. And that white gold sunlight and the freedom of that air is brought down back into our bodies and we feel ourselves shimmering with that white gold sunlight. And we bring our attention to our heart space, imagining a flame burning brightly, a white flame, just centering ourselves in. Now we're going to imagine that we are in a turquoise sphere of light. The most delicious jade turquoise you can ever imagine. Turquoise is the energy pattern, it is the colour of joy. So we're breathing that joy energy in, breathing it in. Mmm, turquoise. Mm. And I want you to imagine that you are on a golden sanded beach. In front of you is the delicious ocean. And its colour is the most vibrant azure, blue and turquoise you've ever seen. It glistens in the sunlight. This is the most juicy turquoise sea you ever could imagine. When you're listening to the sound of the waves lapping on the shore, and you're walking down the beach, walking down this slope, feeling the sand between your toes, feeling how kind of awkward it is to balance on the sand, stepping over bits of crispy seaweed, and stepping over tiny shells and the debris of the ocean, to where the sand becomes harder and firmer from where the water has kissed it. And then stepping down, down, down until the water comes up and kisses your feet. Comes and it kisses your feet and it comes away again. And you walk into that ocean, that sparkling turquoise ocean, with every step, that cool ocean. You can feel the current swelling as the waves come over your ankles. As the waves pull over your knees and drag you deeper into the ocean. As the waves come over your thighs and hug you deeper, deeper into the ocean. As the waves come over your tummy and pull you deeper into the ocean's embrace. And the waves come up to your chest. And you feel yourself standing in the ocean, in this turquoise liquid ocean, being swayed by the current as the ocean holds you, pushing you forwards and backwards. And imagine the ocean nourishing you with this turquoise energy. You jump off the bottom and you swim out into the ocean, doing breaststroke like a little frog, your head bobbing across the surface, going up and down with the gentle waves, 
getting the sand, sorry, getting the salty spray in your eyes. That feels great. And feeling the taste of salt on your lips. And as you swim, you feel a tingling in your legs. And your tail turns into a more magnificent mermaid tail. And you feel it behind you, powerful, pushing you forwards. You take a breath and you dive under the water, completely immersing yourself in this turquoise blue energy. Luckily, because you're a mermaid, you can breathe underwater, so all is well. We're swimming through this ocean and we're imagining ourselves slicing between these beautiful layers of azure blue and light turquoise. This gold, no, it's not golden, this turquoise light that infuses your whole body as you swim into it and through it. We're going to come to the surface, our little heads breaching the waves, maybe shaking our head a little bit to get our hair out of our eyes. And feeling the sun, the warm sun on our face. And we're gonna come and rise up and float on the surface. Feeling the sunlight on our chest and our belly, on our scaly tail as it floats on the surface. And we're gonna bring our attention to our throat chakra, so just at the bottom of our throat. And we're gonna imagine that there's a well of turquoise blue energy there. This is our throat chakra. And it swirls and swirls like a whirlpool in a clockwise fashion. And we're just going to imagine opening up our throat chakra to allow this turquoise blue energy of the ocean we have been swimming in to fill us up, to enter that well. Just that just our throat chakra is sighing and opening to receive this energy. <sighs> and imagine this turquoise ocean energy gently flooding into our throat chakra, feeding it this pure salt water energy, this joy of the turquoise. And feeling our throat chakra light up. Mermaids, may all blockages in our throat chakra be cleared. May all tightness in our throat chakra be cleared. May all shame around expressing ourselves through our voice be cleared. I'm feeling that turquoise energy feeding our throat chakra. And imagining it relaxing and expanding like it's in the safest place ever. And this whirlpool of blue light at the base of our throat grows and expands, shining its light, the light of pure joy. Mm. Mmm, delicious. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring our attention to our solar plexus chakra. So our solar plexus is between our belly button and our rib cage. It is our seat of power. And we're going to be lying in the sunshine. And our solar plexus is so called cool because it is like the sun of our energy system it is the source of power and um, self-sovereignty. That's why when you're in a situation where you don't feel like you have much power or you're feeling 
bit ashamed or like your power has been knocked that's why you kind of feel shitty in that area so it's the sun of our body so we're going to open up our delicious yellow powerful golden solar plexus to drink in the energy of that sunlight that's coming from above and imagining that sunlight being drunk in by our solar plexus and our solar plexus shining and shimmering and expanding and growing like a tiny little sun of its own a golden sun in a turquoise sea And then we're just going to imagine with our breathing as we breathe out, we breathe out energy and we imagine a link. So we're linking our chakras together, a link between our solar plexus that goes through our heart chakra, which is green, to our throat chakra. And then as we breathe in, we imagine that blue light from our heart, our throat chakra, going through the green of our heart chakra to our yellow solar plexus. So as we breathe out, the energy from our solar plexus goes through our heart to our throat. And as we breathe in, that blue energy comes down through our heart to our solar plexus. We're just going to breathe in and out a few times, linking these chakras. Feeling that link between them, lubing up the energetic strands between our chakras so that our voice can be connected to our power and our sense of self. We call upon the mermaids to assist us in linking our voice with our authentic self, to assist us in opening out to really be able to voice who we are, to heal any wounding or shame we have as regards to sharing our authentic truth with the world. We ask the mermaids to help us link our solar plexus chakra to our heart, to our throat chakra so that we may be a channel, our voice may be a channel for who we truly are. And we're going to sound out a note, a noise that goes with the throat chakra. It is the E sound. No, it's not. It's the I sound. I as in I. As in my be the little I. So the noise goes, I. Yeah. So we're all going to do that together. And this is a noise that really opens up the heart chakra. And as a mermaid, we are encouraged to speak and make noise. So ready? We're going to go one, two, three. Uh... One more time. One, two, three. Uh... Now last time, imagining the ripples of this noise going out on the ocean around you. Breathe in. Let's go. Uh...
Breathing in. We're going to dive back into the turquoise ocean. Swimming through back to the shore. Popping our head above the water. Feeling a tingle in our tail and it becomes legs again. We're going to walk out, popping our feet on the slippery, sandy bottom. Feeling the current waft us around as we try and walk out of the sea in that awkward way us humans have. Feeling the turquoise healing waters come down to our waist, and our thighs, and our knees, and our ankles. And then just kissing our heels as we walk up on the sand. We're going to breathe in the energy of this beautiful place once more. And then when we're ready, we're going to open our eyes and come back. Welcome back, mermaids. So your homework today is to sing a lot. Do lots and lots and lots and lots of singing. And a great way to do this is to put on some music that you like. Mariah Carey's always good. Who else is really good? Christina Aguilera is always good. Who else is really good? Um, who do I love singing along to? I like singing along to Jamiroquai quite a lot. And I love singing along to every single noughties pop diva. I love it. So... Pick an album to listen to tonight and sing your heart out. Exercise this throat chakra. Exercise your voice being heard. Exercise enjoying your voice through the power of self. That was our Mermaid Moon Day mini ritual today. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Maria. Lovely to see you. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have an amazing Mermaid Month. See you soon.